Sergey the Crusher Kovalev finally admits that Andre Ward came correct in the rematch. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel, and we working. 2017, great. Great fights, great action. And one thing I like about the fights is the fights that I thought would be entertaining fights, they either delivered as expected or they they actually went above and beyond and they were better than expected. Like, I, I would say a fight that was better than expected was Joshua Klitschko. Klitschko was coming off a loss and almost a two-year layoff or something. I didn't know it was going to be that exciting, that back and forth. Kell Brook, Errol Spence, I figured it would be back and forth action that's what we got ward kovalev i knew it would be competitive for some rounds and let's talk about it kovalev admits that ward came correct now if you go over to his instagram you'll see the screenshot in this video and he put it in his native tongue and then he also put in english he put the american flag and he says i admit that ward was better in rematch i give him credit he did his homework with a with a whatever that means like i guess like an a grade and showed his professionalism and discipline but he didn't put an end to our clash i fought with two people in the ring i will be back and he says war kovalev crusher hashtag wrong stop now this is an admission to what really went on now obviously you have to read between the lines a bit because he said oh i fought with two people that is just filler you know what i mean that's damage control at the end of the day kovalev was hurt and i could play all the clips for you kovalev said that andre ward hits like a girl andre ward his punches are like a little girl tick 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 and everybody wants to well, not everybody because most people have some integrity but there are some people who are just saying oh nutcracker ward and low blow ward and stuff like that and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it for the simple fact of with fights like Mayweather Pacquiao, Ward Kovalev 2, it's very apparent what happened in the fight. You know what I mean? You can see what people said then, what they said now, and they're reaching. And it's so obvious. And whether you realize this or not, writing articles and saying, oh, it was so controversial and doing videos and saying this was low blow Ward and stuff. In your heart of all hearts, and even the people that watch, deep down, there's a lot of people that they lie. They publicly lie. Like in a comment section, they'll be like, oh, Ward sucks, or Floyd's coward, all this stuff. But they know how good these fighters are. You know what I mean? And ultimately, it doesn't do you any, it's a disservice to you because people are going to openly lie and act like they didn't see what was unfolding. I made two videos, the realest Ward Kovalev 2 breakdowns. Now, I give credit to Kovalev for one, for taking the rematch. You know what I mean? There was this fight, I told you, no one's gonna wanna be the loser of the fight. And I did previous videos talking about that. And that was all too true because when we had a loser of the fight, he does he wants to play the victim of, I'm not really a loser. It was a premature stoppage. I could have continued and stuff like that. And that's what happens. It happens when you talk that much trash and say, oh, Andre Ward, I'll end his boxing career. And you, you say this and you're going to KO. I promise everybody. And you, you did all of this making memes. And the day of the fight, even, there was a, a picture of Andre Ward looking at all the light heavyweight titles uh, arranged on a table. And Kovalev put the caption something to the effect of Andre Ward kissing his belts goodbye. So... I understand where this is coming from. This was a hard pill to swallow. This is a fight. I told you, no one's going to want to lose that fight. You know what I mean? You did all that. But the thing with me is I have integrity when it comes to this business. If Kovalev would have went in there, came correct, got this new biathlon, triathlon teacher or whatever, and stopped Andre Ward, I'd be like, wow, he's the man. You know what I mean? He heard him and he proved that the first one, there was some controversy there. But 
this was labeled no excuses and it's funny because i still see people making those excuses but like i said we move on and in the bottom of people's hearts they know what it was you know what i mean and i like i said i like it because at the end of the day and um, i'm let me see how i can say this at the end of the day boxing and and things like this instances like this like propaganda versus reality it's chess not checkers a lot of you motherfuckers are still playing checkers i'm playing chess you know what i mean and here's let me let me let you know what i'm talking about when it comes to this fight so what happens is situations like mayweather pacquiao oh pacquiao it was his shoulder right oh kovalev low blows i'm gonna tell you how it works you actually while you think you're helping him and saving kovalev you're actually making it worse for a couple of reasons one you can lie in public and you can fake the funk but deep down inside the fighter knows what was going on in their body and i i feel i know enough about boxing kovalev was exasperated and he was spent i was there live and that's one thing you could say oh it's tony weeks fault tony weeks is a piece of shit you you could do all those things but the fighter internally knows what he was going through and he knows he was on um his last legs you know what i mean he was pretty done for so i i, I told you and then i i don't condemn a person i'm not going to say what someone can or can't accomplish in the future but i will say this i honestly based on this i would not be surprised if kovalev is in far more competitive fights from here on out because i think this did something to him mentally this was the one you had to win right bernard hopkins those are good wins cleverly but this was the fight to rid all the doubts and you came up short just like pacquiao marquez four all those controversial three first fights pacquiao needed to win that fourth fight and guess what marquez knocked him out and it was competitive before that you know what i mean traded knockdowns so internally kovalev knows what's up so that's one thing the second thing is this i'll use your logic let's say nutcracker ward low blow ward now what you just did to kovalev the fighter you're trying to protect instead of keeping it real is you made it harder from him so i'm going to tell you how it works now I don't want to see Kovalev take a long break. If, if the only reason he got stopped, it wasn't because he was hurt. It wasn't because that Ward had a good game plan and was abusing his body throughout the fight. It wasn't the headshot that set everything up, the right hand, right? It was none of these things. It, these are all illegal blows. So from here on out, now what you just did to your fighter is this. For one, let's not see a long layoff. Kovalev, get right back in there. You know, after all, you weren't hurt. You, you know what I'm saying? Using their logic, you weren't hurt. Number two, fight a top-level guy. Joe Smith Jr. versus Sullivan Barrera. That's a great fight. Fight the winner of that. Two notorious punchers. And don't take a tune-up fight. Because after all, these were low blows. And you could have continued, right? Fight a guy like that. Fight Arter Better be if You guys have a grudge to to score, uh, settle the score from the amateurs. He beat you. He's on the rise. He needs a big name. So take a, a fight like that. So that's fine. If people want to use this low blow, I don't want to see anything less from Kovalev. I don't want to see a tune-up because he doesn't need a tune-up because he could have continued. That's what you're telling me, right? So let's see him jump right back in the mix because if he, if he takes a tune-up, that's going to be another admission to what really went on. So if, if you know in your heart of all hearts that you were still in the fight, it was competitive and the only reason you got stopped was because of a bad judgment call from tony weeks then i want to see kovalev main events put him right back into the frying pan because he is a hell of a fighter he's a good fighter and after all this was the result of bad judging and bad refereeing and this was a, a poor judgment call and you could have continued so jump in there with better be of next fight or the joe smith jr versus sullivan barrera winner fight i don't want to see somebody who's low ranked or so on that don't take a tune up and it, it shouldn't be ward because i don't think as far as i'm concerned based on uh main events kathy duva telling people to shut up post fight the excuse making and these things i'm not really interested in seeing the ward kovalev and we all know you had two opportunities to to beat ward and you lost both of them and you lost the, the most recent 
in a worse fashion. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm loving it because the people who are reaching, you're only putting more pressure on your fighter. So Kovalev, rest up for a little bit and then come back. But like I said, I'm, I'm not really interested in a trilogy as as the case, like who wanted to see Mayweather versus Maidana part three? Nobody, you know why? Because Floyd beat him, first fight was tougher, then he beat him again and he beat him more decisively. So there's no need for a third fight. And we all know title shots come and if you get knocked out down the ladder, then you have to bounce back. Like Julian J. Rock, he was the number one mandatory. And now upcoming fight, he, he's taking a tune-up fight because he just got stopped by Jamal Charlo. So if Kovalev and Kovalev fans really believe that this was only the result of low blows and illegal dirty tactics, then we should see Kovalev come back in a few months and jump right back in there with a top level puncher, top level guy. And actually there's a lot of guys at light heavyweight that can punch, but for me, I say Arter better be of. He needs a name. You guys don't like each other from the amateurs or the Joe Smith Jr. Sullivan Barrera winner. And we'll see. But it, like I said, it's funny. People try to take away credit and we all know what it is. At the end of the day, it's because there was a lot of banter, a lot of trash talk, and a lot of people who whose predictions were drastically wrong, drastically wrong. You said Ward was gonna get knocked out. He didn't even get knocked down in the rematch, right? And we're gonna see the usual suspects, the detractors who are gonna say, oh, you just love Ward or you're dick riding, Bay Area, buy all this stuff. So respond to the video, respond to, Co the fact, to me, this is admission. The fact that Kovalev said, I admit Ward was better in rematch, right? The writing's on the wall, even post-fight. They asked him if he was hurt by the right hand, and he didn't really officially answer the question. He kind of skipped around. He's like, oh, the ward is better, but he didn't really a answer if he was hurt. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, first of all, you got to know the male anatomy. If you're a boxing fan, your nuts aren't at your belt line. And the the fact is that it's like, no, <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. Any way you slice it, it's not a good look. You say, oh, it was low blows, but you, your nuts aren't at your at your waistband. People are like, oh, he hit him on the B of Hugh Blow. Okay, so his nuts wouldn't be where the B of your print logo. What, what company puts their logo on your genitalia and your 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 private? So people, and that's, what, that's how I know you guys recycle the same rhetoric and banter. You just hear someone say, it. oh, he hit him on the B. So again, you think Nike is going to put their logo across your genitalia or your nuts? No, they're not going to. So it was borderline, it was a belt line, but you have to understand boxing. A low blow would be substantially below that, right? Where the protected area, where even if you get, because if you get hit with the cup, it still hurts. You know what I mean? And that's the kind of thing. So like I said, at the end of the day, you guys are putting an unfair pressure on Kovalev. And Kovalev's doing it to himself. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this is eerily similar to a B-Hop versus Kelly Pavlik situation. Because that's the thing. Kovalev, at the end of the day, he knows what he felt in there. You know what I mean? And even though you could publicly say, oh, it was Tony Weeks' fault. I blame his flat top or whatever you want to say. At the end of the day, the truth is going to come out because he knows how he felt in there. And I know... In my, I on, I firmly believe that he knows that Ward made the proper adjustments and he was hurt in there. You know what I mean? And again, just basic boxing 101. If Kovalev wasn't hurt, why was he doubling over and spilling all over the place in, in essence, run? And see, this is the thing. You're not going to do this to me because I'm a, I'm a boxing fan. Like I said, if Kovalev won, then I'd be like, you're the man. But I don't want to hear a bunch of what if scenario. Oh, if Ward was the one that did it, low blows, you'd be mad. That's not what happened. Let's talk on a fact basis, right? Let's talk about what happened. I don't do, like, if I want fantasy, then I'll watch um, the Marvel Universe. I'll watch Captain America or the, the Black Panther movie that's coming up, right? I want to talk about facts. I want to talk about what I actually witnessed live. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, you guys are making it way worse because you, you say low blows and all these excuses to justify why the fighter you picked to knock out Ward or beat Ward lost. And 
this was that type of fight. It's, again, this is a fight that no one wanted to lose. So let's see, Kovalev, if for all the people, you should accept nothing less because this was all a mistake. So you shouldn't accept anything less than a better B of Joe Smith Jr., Sullivan Barrera winner. I mean, obviously, Joe Smith Jr., Sullivan Barrera, they definitely deserve a title shot. Andre Ward already beat one of them. And I was at that fight, too, against Sullivan Barrera. But like I said, at the end of the day, the truth is going to come out. If Kovalev takes a tune-up style fight, then that's going to let you know that he probably endured a little bit more than what some of these fans are leading to, to leading on. But the fact that he wrote on his page, I will be back and I admit Ward was much better, that lets me know he's probably watched the tape and he understands what it really is. And the, the whole... I fought with two people in the ring. See, this is this is the thing with an excuse. You can, the first fight was very close and very controversial. I was at that fight too, but there's only so long the public will accept various excuses. First, he was son of judges. Now he's son of ref. Like we're not doing this. We're not going to keep. So what happens if they have a third fight? You know what I mean? Son of crowd. The crowd influenced him to the oohs and ahs influence the judge. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're not going to do this. In these fights, Mayweather versus Castillo, um, Mayweather versus Maidana, right? Pacquiao versus Marquez Four. These fighters are getting the opportunity to prove and show the separation. I'm the better guy. That first one, Marquez could have been like, man, them three times that Pacquiao beat me, that was some bullshit. And he proved it because he knocked Pacquiao out. Say whatever you want. It was competitive. He looked like he was on his way to, to possibly getting stopped. But the end result was Marquez had his bloody nose and his hand raised. And Pacquiao was laying face first on the canvas. Same thing with the, the Maidana situation. If, if Maidana said Floyd's punches tickled, but in the rematch, they didn't look like they tickled. And Floyd won even more convincingly. I think the end of round three or something, Maidana caught him with a good shot, but it was like at the at the bell floyd ate it and then he got back to work you know what i mean so that's the, the these guys had a mulligan they had a, a do-over they were able to hit the reset button based on holding a good account of themselves in the first outing you know what i mean and making it competitive so they were granted another opportunity so at the end of the day i'm pretty sure majority of the real boxing fans they know what it is like I mean, I, I've seen people that I wouldn't even expect because I've seen what they previously said about Ward. Um, I wouldn't expect them to give credit. And even they were like that. You know what I mean? Like um, Max Kellerman's another person where he just gave him credit. You know what it is. And like I said, you have to analyze what someone said then and now. And Kovalev said Ward's punches tickled. Or actually, that's what Madonna said. Kovalev said Ward's punched like a girl, right? but he was the one spilling over. You know what I mean? It's so funny what they do to a lot of African-American fighters. They accuse them of being cowards, yellow belly, ducking, and runners. But the first sign of trouble, who was the one who like was turning around and scrambling like they were playing football to avoid the shots? And again, if you know anything about boxing, a, per a person who's not throwing any punches and is doubling over and is completely defenseless just trying to preserve themselves and make it out of that round of course they're going to be harder to hit you know what i mean you're folded over like a lawn chair of course you're gonna it's not going to be the perfect liver shot or the per but you're not even upright you, your your body you guys try to hit something that's like like crouched down you know what i mean it'd be it'd be equivalent to being in a shootout if someone runs in a straight line, that's easier to hit. You know what I mean? That'd be equivalent to Sergey Kovalev standing up. If if Kovalev was standing up and Ward was like, bow, bow, and went low, that's something different because you have the perfect trajectory to hit and you know where you're supposed to hit. But if a guy's all crippled over and crouching down, of course, it, it might be a belt line or borderline shot. Oh, it's on the B, as some of you guys said. But like I said, at the end of the day, you guys are putting a lot of pressure on Kovalev. But the, the real fans, they know what it is. And it unfortunately, the people who, who leave all these crazy low blows, that's all they say. No explanation. Just low blows, nutcracker ward, right? And you're doing all this, it, it just makes you lose credibility. And it just shows how, how 
pathetic and, and petty you are where you can't just give a man his props. But like I said, it's funny how they always do that to African-American fighters. They're the cowards and the runners. But in this instance, it looked like the known power guy, the guy who's been at the light heavyweight division with immense power and a very good boxer, Kovalev, he was the one that was complaining when, when shit was in the trenches. Ward was getting rabid punched. He was getting put in headlocks. I'm sure Kovalev's pretty strong. So in the clinch, you know what I mean? Um, he was getting muscled around. You know what I mean? They're tussling with each other, things like that, getting rabid punched. He has knots on the side of his head, things like that. But never once did I hear Ward complain. He bit down and got back to his game plan. Yet the known crusher is the one who's looking to the referee for savior you know what i mean and i'm telling you part of it is kovalev is not used to being in those predicaments i don't think he's had anyone who's literally in two fights demolished his, his body like that you know what i mean and to me it's, it's looking like kovalev has the keith thurman syndrome in terms of he, did, he really doesn't like it to the body he's very he has a chin and he has a um he has a good chin but he he got hit to the head plus the early body work that's what made him more susceptible to the headshot you know what i mean because when you're fatigued anything can hurt you know what i mean things like that but it's just funny how like the certain fighters ward he, they say he's the runner but kovalev was the one scrambling around trying to buy time and make it out of the round but again kovalev's not used to that and he didn't know what to do if anything Kovalev didn't even have energy to clinch. So if someone's low blowing you, why don't you clinch? And when you get bro broken up, then you signal to the ref, oh, he's hitting me low. He didn't have, you, you, there's there's a there's a certain way to have handled that. If it was, if you were just, if you really weren't in trouble and this was just because of a matter of a low blow, why don't you take a knee and then that'll buy you time. And then you can explain to the referee what happened or or you, you have a hard clinch and wait for him to break and then say, oh, point to your, you know what I mean? Point to your genitalia area. Like, hey, he's doing that. Kovalev didn't have the energy. He was he was tapped. He was done for. But like I said, you guys can believe whatever you want. I think his next move will be important to watch and study. And if, if it's what people are saying, I don't want to see him fight like an Isaac Chalimba level guy. Fight Vod's dick, right? Fight uh, Sullivan Barrera. Or Joe Smith Jr., whoever wins that fight. Fight Arter Better Be It. Fight Adonis Stevenson. Because after all, the fans are saying that he wasn't in trouble. So he should be able to shake that off. Because you know in your heart, that's not what the situation was. And like he said in his, his caption, he was fighting two people in the ring. So if, if that's honestly what Kovalev believes, um, then I think he should just jump right in there. Adonis Stevenson, that's a great fight. I've been wanting to see that. You know what I mean? So jump right in there with him. But I don't think, in my honest opinion, I don't think that will be next, right? And I don't think it'll be next because I don't think mentally, I, I think Kovalev knows what happened. You know what I mean? And like I said, you can deceive the public or, or say whatever you want, but it's not adding up to me. Ward hits like a girl, but you're the one that's like moving to and fro around the ring and trying to buy time. And this wasn't even the first time that he did it there's a there's a distinct moment because i didn't even know I, as as a, a bystander he bent over and ward looked at him like what the hell and i didn't even know what was going on i was like i thought he was about to throw up or something i didn't know what he was doing you know what i'm saying and it looked like um just didn't look like he was ready for that a, attack and that assault and and again that's sometimes what happens kovalev's not used to a rugged fighter like ward who's going to bring it to him if he has kovalev has a amazing jab and that's really all he was doing to me he, he has a very piston like jab i know it has some power behind it things like that he was trying to shoot the one two and connect with the right but the added new wrinkles that ward showed with with some mobility standing in, in spots fighting up close um fighting at a mid-range exiting out doing all the different tricks up ward's sleeve that's what created more of a puzzle for kovalev and he was getting picked off more like i i noticed even in the first fight, I'll be 100% transparent. The first fight, I thought it was a very close fight. And I, I gave it to Ward based on Kovalev faded. And he faded again in this one. But there weren't as many head rocking shots that Ward was landing. But in this one, I was like, man, Ward's defense looks better. His timing looks better because he was catching Kovalev. 
and he was catching them with succession. And that's one of the, the issues with some of the Eastern European style fighters is some people say they could be robotic. Like I said, minus Lomachenko, because he, he fights like a brother. But Kovalev, he's very good. Like Victor Postal, Kovalev, Golovkin. They're, it looks basic, but they're very good at what they do. But if you get a fighter like Ward, who, who gives you different looks, especially like stuff like movement, just look at Golovkin versus Jacobs. Nobody had the punching power and used the leg and, and know, knew how to navigate around the ring like that with Golovkin, like Jacobs did. And people argue that Jacobs should have beat Golovkin, right? Same thing with Ward. Ward got back to his mobility, but he was also fighting, taking stands and, and abusing the body and making it in the trenches fight. And it broke Kovalev down. So again, we'll see what Kovalev decides to do. I think he should take a little bit of time to rest and then jump right back in there. Because after all, this was a low blow. Fight Adonis. Fight Arter Better Biev, right? Joe Smith Jr. versus Sullivan Barrera winner. That's really what I think because that's what some of the fans feel. So we shouldn't accept anything less because you guys are saying the only reason he lost was because of Tony Weeks. So if that's the case, jump right back in the mix, climb back up the ladder, and, and work your way back to a title shot. But to me... I, I really feel like I know what's up. And the fact that Kovalev randomly just put this tweet, I will be back, and I admit Ward was better in the rematch, that, to me, is Kovalev's own way of saying, you got me. You know what I mean? I, I really do believe that. That's his way of saying that. Kovalev, based on his temperament, based on how menacing he's been in the lead-up, I can't picture him just, like, bowing all the way down, saying, like, man, this, this dude had me. Like... And it makes me respect guys like Chris Ariola because after, I think it was after Wilder, Chris Ariola was like, man, you beat my fucking ass. He just said it straight out like that, something like that. He was like, damn, you fucked me up. You know what I mean? And I respect that. But I, I think Kovalev, based on pride and stuff like that, and he, he's not going to admit it the same way. He's going he's gonna to say, oh, Ward did better, but I, I was battling two people. It's just, like like I said, we're not doing all these excuses. You, you got the triathlon coach. John David Jackson stayed behind. And that's the other thing. We shouldn't see John David ja Jackson get fired because, after all, the people are trying to blame Tony Weeks, so you can't blame John J David Jackson either. You know what I mean? But time will reveal Kovalev is still a good fighter. That's my honest opinion. He's still a good fighter, but I, I'm really going to be studying and watching his next move because I want to see how he bounces back. And I think ultimately his next move is going to show us a lot about what really happened. And if he jumps right back and not even just jumping back in to fight a Joe Smith Jr. Sullivan Brer, that's the other part about it. If if what he is saying is happened, like Tony Weeks ruined everything and he could have went the whole fight or whatever, right? then he should look the same because there's no love lost. You, If you really believe that in your heart, your confidence should not suffer. But I really think Kovalev, I, I really would not be surprised if he's in more competitive fights versus before he fought Ward, he was destroying guys. Ishmael, I've watched his whole career. Ishmael Salah, um, Cedric Agnew, the fight with Nathan Cleverly, Bernard Hopkins. In the Bernard Hopkins fight, he knocked Hopkins down in round one and nearly stopped Hopkins in round 12. So we'll see if we see that next crusher in his next fight against, I'm not talking about like a Mohammedy, right? I'm talking about a, another top level guy. And most of the top level guys that I can think of can all punch Vodstick, uh, Adonis, stuff like that. So we'll see in the next fight. But it, it's, it's unfortunate what fans try to do and try to detract from the actual truth instead of just saying, damn, Ward proved me wrong. Didn't think he can hurt Kovalev. You know what I mean? But they're going to take it to the grave. And at the end of the day, they lose credibility for not having any level of integrity. You know what I mean? And this is this is not a threat. This is more of a promise. Watch my channel continue to grow. Because at the end of the day, I give these guys credit. You know what I mean? I picked Danny Garcia to beat Keith Thurman. I was wrong. I gave Keith Thurman his propers. I said... He did that. He came out and stung Danny Garcia, made him gun shy for a bit. And I don't like how he was moving as much in the in the in round. But I never once told you that that because the guy I picked to win didn't win, 
I never told you that Keith Thurman didn't win. But some people are petty like that, and they're not going to do that. That's my honest opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.